All right, in this episode, we're going to work with pausing the game. First, let's uh, update the ball so it doesn't start above the bricks, but down here so that it's not trapped. Let's go into our ball file. Let's set the Y position to 400. And let's set the speed to a negative 2. There we go. All right, now let's go into our input handler. We're going to need a new input here. Uh, key code 27 is the escape key. That's what we're going to use to pause the game. So what we'll do here is we'll say game.pause or let's say toggle pause because they could unpause the game as well. So this class doesn't know what the game is so let's pass it into the constructor. Alright, now let's go into our game class. This is where we'll do the remaining of the work. All right, so our input handler, we need to pass in the game, which is this. And we need a new function called toggle pause. So what we're going to introduce here is game states. A game state is going to tell the game where it's at. Is it paused? Is it running? Is it at the title screen, the game over screen? We're going to be working with this for a few episodes. Uh, let's go ahead and create here a constant. And we're going to define all of our states. Uh, so we'll have paused, give that a value of zero, running for when the game is running, the menu, and also game over. All right, so we're only gonna work with paused and running for today. When we start a game, we want to set the game state equal to game state running. Later, we'll start the game at the menu, but for now, we're going to keep it the way it's running right now. Next, we need to toggle pause. So if this game state is paused, we're going to set the game state to running. So if it's paused and they click the pause button, it'll unpause the game. Otherwise, we are going to pause the game. Now right now, it's not doing anything because we're not telling the game to stop running when we hit the pause button. So inside of our update function, let's just say if this game state is paused, we're not going to update anything. So right there I just hit the escape key and the game is frozen. Hit it again and it starts running again. Alright, now let's do uh, a little display to show that the game is actually paused and not frozen. So inside of our draw function, we still want to draw everything even though the game's paused. Let's first shade the whole screen so it's a little darker. So let's see here, we have our context. Let's create a rectangle that covers the whole screen. Let's fill it. Let's do an RGBA so we can do black but with 50% opacity so you can see through it. And let's fill it. So there we go. But we only want this to show when we're paused. So let's just do if this game state is paused. And now if I pause the game, it shades it gray, unpause it, and it goes back to white. Let's add a little bit of text as well. Let's create a font of 30 pixels Arial. Let's fill it. Let's fill it white. Let's align it center. And let's, let's, let's fill it and position it. So we say fill text, paused, and we're going to put it 50% on the x-axis and y-axis. So the x will be our game width over 2, 
and the y will be our game height over 2. Let's pause the game and unpause it. Alright, now we can pause and unpause the game.